Good grief, look at all the ants in this tree.
I showed you all those ants earlier. They seem to be going in and out of the uh, very heart of this log, so I assume there's some heart rot in it. Um, we'll just have to see the extent of it when we get in it. So welcome back everybody. Today we have got a pretty nice sized sweet gum log to mill up on the wood miser and I'm very interested to see what kind of wood is in this thing. We did a video several months ago on a sweet gum tree and the middle of it was pretty much black. Uh, this one doesn't seem to really have that much black heartwood even though it's an older tree uh, but it does seem to have uh, some black throughout the grain so I'm hoping I'm getting gonna get some kind of a tiger stripe pattern. I've seen pictures but I've never seen it in person. If you saw we had kind of a close call bucking this log, it took an unexpected roll. Uh, thankfully I was able to get out of the way quick enough, um, but that just goes to show you, you never know which way these things are going to go. Now the plan with this lumber, if I can manage to get it to dry straight, uh, we're doing a remodeling project on the house that I've mentioned before, and uh, we're going to do a multi-species floor in the living room, so I hope that this is going to be included uh, in, in that floor. For anybody who was wondering, yes, that was a bunch of poison ivy that I had to pull off of it. Hopefully that doesn't come back to bite me. Um, but let's go ahead and get the wood miser going and uh, see what we can get out of this log. Guys, I think maybe we've stumbled upon something a little bit special here. Look at, look at that. Oh my goodness. Man, if it's like this all the way through or better, I may pass out.
right guys so this is always always my favorite part it's like like opening a Christmas present and I'm particularly excited about this one let's get down in this thing and see what it really looks like a little bit of a closer look you know it's not as much black striping as I really wanted but you know it's it's really pretty wood it'll probably dry out white but you know what it's really pretty up we're not quite down to the heart yet I'm interested to see what the heart looks like So here's something that I think is really cool. You can gauge what the inside of these logs look like from the kind of sawdust that's coming out. This right here is the sapwood from this sweet gum log and this is getting into the heartwood. You see the difference in color? It's pretty neat. It gets exciting when you get down to this stuff right here. Oh, there it is. Look at that. That's what we were looking for. So guys, that's all I've got for this video. I really appreciate you watching. That log yielded about 120 board feet of lumber. I showed you the best three boards in the close-up there at the last shot. Uh, if I can get these to dry straight, I think they'll be pretty nice. Now, I was very surprised uh, about the ants. I really was scared that the whole rot, uh, center was rotten on this tree and that I would lose a lot of lumber in the middle, but it only went a few inches. So very little damage to the, to the base of the tree. Uh, so I was very happy about that. Yeah. Guys, I want to let y'all know how much I appreciate the support y'all are giving this channel. The channel has passed 13,500 subscribers and it's on its way to 14,000. And I never, I never in a million years imagined uh, that that many people would want to watch me cut logs, uh, make lumber out of logs. And uh, I just can't tell you how much I appreciate the support. Uh, before I go, I want to give a shout out 
So three channels that I think are really good. Uh, there's a gentleman. I'm not really sure where he lives. Uh, somewhere in the Great Plains, I assume. But the channel name is Great Plains Craftsman. He's working on a timber frame structure right now, and uh, he's worth checking out. That's a channel that deserves more attention than it's at, than it's getting right now, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, check him out, and I'll give you a link. And uh, I think you will enjoy his content. He is he is a He's a pretty good woodworker. He is, uh, he's doing a great job on his timber frame structure, and uh, he's got some timber frame skills that I wish that I had. Uh, check him out. Uh, also, I think most of y'all probably already watched this guy, but Jim, uh, over on the Tradesman channel, uh, he had an accident a few months ago, but he is back at it, and he is getting some significant progress done on his timber frame barn, and he is getting it dried in right now. And uh, check his channel out also if you're not already subscribed to him. Uh, he's got really good content, and he's uh, he's got some skills that I'm envious of as well. But check him out. I don't think you'll don't think you'll regret it. The third channel I want to mention is a channel by the name of Northwest Sawyer. He's located out in the Pacific Northwest somewhere, and he's got an LT35 hydraulic wood miser, and he does some really good work. Uh, he's got some good editing skills. His videos are a lot of fun to watch. He's got a lot of heavy machinery videos on his channel, and he's just he's got good. Stuff and he's he's worth checking out. So check him out if you if you're not already subscribed to him, and uh, I don't think you'll be disappointed. But again, that's all I've got. Thank you so much for your support. Please hit the like button if you haven't already, and remember to subscribe if you haven't. And I'll see you next time. So guys, that's all I've got for this video. I really appreciate you watching. That log yielded nine boards, which are an inch and a quarter thick. Well, man, you're not any help. Are you done? Can I can I start filming again? All right. Good.